There you go. Hey, I'm recording. Hi, everybody. Okay, well, most of you already know how we get the this kind of design on here. And um, I just made the mistake of rubbing a little too hard. So when you erase it, don't forget to roll it back and forth, roll it back and forth. Okay. So uh, I think what we should focus on first, hmm, I think we can do this bottom part. I know it's crazy. We'll do the splashes later. But what I'm going to do is just take my, well, I'm going to take my large brush. I don't see any reason why you can't use a larger brush. You know, the one that actually, uh, this is a, this is a 14. If you have a 10 or a 12, I'd say get that out. Because then we can just do a nice amount of water down below. Watch out for the teeth. And, and that way we're sort of starting with an easy portion where we just want to make it light and then we can get used to it. At the very end, we're going to cover up him. And then what we'll do is do some splashing. It seems like we do a lot of splashing, but I don't know. I like it in the end. You're get, you guys are getting easier, uh, better at doing splashing, aren't you? Harry's is... the, the splatter queen. Oh, is she? Oh, okay. All right. I'm practicing all those poppies, Joan. Well, and they do look good with splashes, I have to tell you. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just take a tiny bit of the gray, and I'm just going to go in and not really worry about too much, because I can make it darker afterwards. But I'm going in and just putting in a light, light gray. Okay, that's what you're I'm just using like. the Payne's gray, right? I'm just using the Payne's gray. You bet I am. And then the only place I'm making it a little darker is around the, the teeth. So the teeth will look extra super white like he brushes. Okay. Ooh, my, he might even have some goofy looking teeth afterwards because they're not coming out real. That's okay. They don't have to be straight. So anyway, I am just adding a little bit and I'm looking at my picture and I'm thinking, oh yeah, okay, I see. It's just a little bit darker there, no big deal. Now, while it's still wet, I'm gonna go to the blue, a little bit of light blue, and I'm gonna go in and put just a little bit in. I have to remember to stay light and that's the hardest thing for me because I'm not a light painter. I like to, I like the stuff to pop out. So I am going to put a tiny bit of blue in there. And I got to tell you, the blue and the gray is beautiful together. Looks really pretty. And just because I'm recording, you guys can still talk every now and again. You'll just be on the recording forever and ever. Amen. And then I'm going to do a teeny bit of purple too. I'm going to put in a little bit of purple and get a little bit wet just because I want to have different colors in there. It's kind of hard because, you know, you don't have a lot of time really. So I am going to just sort of try and put in little dashy dashes, but I have to keep it wet and that's hard. You know, I have to, I don't want it soaking, but I also don't want it to be so dry that you can see my marks. And that's what I'm going to do. Hmm. All right. I got to tell you, though, I am going to do a little splashes splash in here. I'm going to go in and take some water and just move it around like that. Because, and I know we're not ready for splashing, but I'm going to cover up him and already I can tell that I can do a little bit of splashing. I'm covering them up with my arm and I'm just doing a little bit of splashing down below. And I just got my face. So, you know, it's, it's going everywhere. What color did you use to splatter? Uh, okay. To splatter, I used paint water. And water? then what oh, I oh, did, water. Okay, all gotcha. I did was water. Gotcha, and, gotcha, and gotcha, I, gotcha. Yeah, 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 that's okay. And then what I did is I took my arm and then I went like this and I covered up his face and I just went like that, da, 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 Got it. you know, and you know, you can, if you want to, 
just see if I can get a couple little colors. It's kind of hard. You do have to use quite a bit of water. So yeah, I'm going to take some of the purple, cover up his face. I can cover up his face because I don't have anything on it yet. And I can even go like that a little bit. Oh my gosh, I've already started on the splatters, you guys. Look at that. Woo. See? And it's, uh, it's very liquidy, isn't it? It's like, ooh. Maybe it'll look like he's playing in the water if you do it at the bottom. I don't know. I, this, this could turn out differently, you guys. Oh, look at that. I know it's a crazy way to start. We're like, why are we going wild already? Okay. So we can't touch that for a little while. But I think what we can do is we can start at the top here with his face. Now, I don't know how you guys feel about it. I don't want you leaning in there, but um, I'm going to use a smaller one. I'm not going to use the big one. And all I'm going to do is get this gray part and his ear, not the, not the middle of it, but I'm going to go ahead. I'm, I'll do this ear later, but I'm going to go and get this part wet, his head, his ear, just above his nose. So what I'm going to do is do this part right here. Wet, 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 hair, ear, and there. That's it. That's all I'm doing this one area. Okay. And because this brush is too big, I don't know how big your brush is. I'm going to use a slightly smaller one if I can find one, not a super tiny one, but a slightly smaller one. I don't know if I gave you guys enough of them. I'm always worried that I don't give you enough different brushes. But the reason I'm going to be careful, oops, got it in the eyeball, is because I want to just get a little bit of water on there. So we're trying not to get the flowers wet, right? Just like I'm trying and head. not to get the flowers wet. And if they get a little bit wet, I'm sure it's not a big deal. But one thing I'm trying to do is keep it away from his nose. See? <gasps> and, and if I get it on his nose, I'm not going to want to paint there. I accidentally got his eyeball, but I don't think it's the end of the world. Okay. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. And then I'm going to take a little bit of the gray. And you'll have to keep your uh, paper nearby to see where it's darkest. And I'm going in with my brush. And I'm doing the gray where I see it's darkest. So I see under his eyeball, it's a little bit dark. It's almost like he's got rings around his eyes. And then I'm going to go here. We can always add light. So don't worry if you see that, oh, no, I took, I, I know I have to be light there. Don't worry. You can even go right through his eyelashes. Her. I'm sure she's a girl. <laughs> And then when you do the ears, remember, it's just a little darker. And you don't have to do the dark right away. If you just want to do the first layer, that's fine. We can get the dark stuff in layer, in later. I can't talk. Yeah, in fact, don't worry about his eyelids. We can always go lighter with that. But what I'm trying to do is keep it so that I don't have like some strokes marks on it. I want it to look somewhat even. So when I go in, I'm trying to keep the, the levels the same. Now the little hair on the top might not turn out quite how you want it, but just little pieces sticking up will be good. And again, if you get it in the on the on the petals, I don't think it's bad because you can just make that darker. Hmm. This paper's acting really different than other paper. 
I must have, maybe it's a different brand or something, but it is drying super fast. I don't know if it's because it was a wet, it was a, a, a really, it just seems so weird. I don't know if your paper's drying super fast or maybe it's just hot in my house, but man, it's just soaking it up. It's drying fast too. Is it drying fast for you too? Yeah. I feel like I'm, I'm working against time here and I have to keep putting it on there, but I don't want to get it soaking, you know? So I'm just trying to smooth out the forehead. So that's what I'm working on right now is just smoothing out the forehead. Whoa, I got a bump there. Whoops. Oh, well. Okay. We're going to do the details later, so don't worry about that. But, you know, he's in the water, or she is splashing around in the water. So, you know, I'm going to take a tiny, tiny bit of purple because I noticed on one side of her face, she's got a little bit of purple going in there, and I think that's pretty. Okay, she's got a little bit of purple up on her ear. And I am going to go a little darker right at the bottom of her ear. So there's a couple sections where it's dark. You know, just a little bit. Maybe that's to make it look like it's got a, um, like a little uh, a curve in it. And I did notice that under the plant, it's darker just a little bit because it's where the shadow is. And that will make the, the leaf look like it's got a little bit more lift, that little shadow, you know? Okay, so I'm gonna do a tiny bit more while it's wet and a tiny bit in the little section here. Now, I don't know how we're gonna do this. I think I'm just gonna take my, like I'm putting on eyeliner and I'm just taking the, the gray and I'm just putting on some little lines like that. And then she's got the line at the bottom. So I guess I'm just gonna draw a little line Try a little line under there. It almost looks like she's got a little thing around her eyeball. You know that little bit right there is, what's that little portion called on the inside of your eye? I'm trying to do that. I'm probably using, a, this is too big, but of course I don't want to put it down and switch it. Gosh, I hope she doesn't look like she's, I don't know, kind of loopy. It's very hard to do her light. Part of me wants to do very dark because darker is easier than light, you know? Did you get your little bit of purple in up, up, up by her ear? That'll look pretty. Okay, all right, I want to I wanna try and smooth it in there. <laughs> it's hard. Ooh, this is, I thought this was going to be easy, guys. This is a little bit more challenging than I thought. You're like, yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think just a light dusting of purple is pretty. And we'll do details later. Um, don't forget that we do have to get the other um, ear. So I'm going in and putting a little bit of water on the ear. And then I'm taking my, my gray, my Payne's gray, and it looks like it's a little darker near the flowers. Joan, right now, it kind of looks like with the watercolor, the hippo yeah. is wearing like a mask that's like broken. Oh, really? 
Yeah. Oops. Well, maybe it'll. it'll... You can't really see the pencil line. Right. Well, hopefully it'll look better soon, huh? You're right. It does look like a mask. So your sister decided not to do it. She wants to do the video, huh? Yeah. That's okay. Yeah, sometimes you got to do it when you when you have time, you know. And um, there, that was pretty. It's, I'm trying to build. Yeah, she up. had a softball game, so she can. Oh yeah, what position does she play? Pitcher. Oh, well, that's an exciting role. Oh. Like, I don't know if I'd want to be the pitcher. A lot of pressure. I was a pitcher. Really? Yeah. Wow. I'm impressed. <laughs> you got to you gotta be on your game for that. All sorts of things can happen, right? Yep. You're the, you're the one everybody blames when you lose. <laughs> right? All right, so I'm just trying to give it the look like she does have some eyebrows going on there. They don't have to be perfect, but that's what I'm working on right now. I'm trying to get the look of eyebrows. We'll see what happens. Because I know eventually I can use the white to do the little white part in it. And then we can do the, the lashes. We can use the white for the lashes and the pen. So I'm, I'm not too worried about the eyes looking kind of funky just yet. I got to tell you that, okay? So I'm going to, if you guys are ready, I'm going to do the inside of the ears. I'm going to put a tiny bit of water in there, not much. And then I'm going to go with that pink color. Oh, that is pretty. And I am putting in um, pink, but then I'm also then controlling where the lighter part goes. So I think the inside of the ear should be the darkest part, right? So I'm just pulling it back a little bit. I put it on there and now I'm pulling it back. That's what I did. And John, the pink is the, the fifth the, one this The second one. Yeah, the, oh, the, the third one. one, the third one down. The yeah, third one, gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The little darker one. Okay. Yeah, I don't think it really matters, but I just thought, oh, maybe the blush should be one color and the pink for the flowers another. But, you know, when it comes right down to it, I don't think it really matters. But I, I thought, oh, let's make it different, you know. And the, the ears are different, by the way. They do look a little different, but I, I do like how the the lighter part or the darker parts on the inside. And I'm going to try and do that by getting rid of a little bit of it. It's, it's hard. Boy, we don't use much, do we? Hmm. Okay, there we go. All right. Anything, any color you can get in there is fine. And it'll look like it's got some shape to it if we get the dark and the light. All right. So now, once this feels fairly dry, I think we can go ahead and get this part wet. So maybe I'll do the nostrils first. Yeah, I'm going to do the inside of the nostrils first with a tiny bit of water, just like the ears. I'm going to start with the nostrils. Why? I don't know. But that way I know that I can make it. It really does look like the darkest part on the whole thing. So we want to make it look like they're deep, deep, dark nostrils. They only eat plants, right? Are they herbivores? I don't think they eat. I mean, I just can't imagine them eating an alligator or anything. No, that'd be weird. And then it looks like there's a teeny 
bit of purple in there too. I'm just going to add a little bit of purple. Just a little bit. Just to make it look like we got some, we got some depth. It's funny, you got to kind of push it back and push it back because it does want to kind of run in there. And I want to have that that sent the back part dark and I want to have the front part light. So that's what I'm working on. Get back you nostril. Okay. And then I'm going to take it and just put a little bit of darker on it. Hmm. Funny how long you spend on something like a nostril. You know, it's like, really? Yeah, I spent three minutes on the nostril. Oh, well, it's beautiful. Well, since we did all that time on the nostril, I'm wondering. Hmm. So we just want to be careful. And, and, and this part can get a little bit, but I, I don't know. I kind of want to stay away from the nostril for now. So I'm going to take my brush and get it wet, but I'm not going to do the teeth. And I don't think I'm going to do down below yet. I'm just going to do the top. Well, let me see. Should I do down below? I guess I could. I just have to make that darker. Yeah, I'll get it all wet. What the heck? Whoa, there's a little section. It looks weird. Uh, I guess I'll just figure it out when I get there. All right, here we go. Getting you just a little bit wet, lady. Even though you're drying. Are you doing the mouth too or trying to avoid well, the mouth? I was thinking about avoiding the mouth because, uh, but I, what I can do is just go over it. So maybe the first layer, I'm going to go ahead and go in and put the, the light um, color, you know, the, the gray. And then I'm going to do it again and darken that up. So it's up to you you can go over the whole thing and then do it. I would keep your direction going the same way though. You know, so you don't have a bunch of lines going hilly nilly. That's a new word. Hilly -nilly. Mm -hmm. Making stuff up. You know, sometimes I, I, I have watched these afterwards and I'm like, I make no sense at all. I'm just talking. I guess that's what happens when you're kind of thinking and trying to do something at the same time. You know, it's like, oh, I'm not finishing my thoughts. Ooh. I laughed all the way through the flamingo video. You oh, so funny. no. I was so irreverent. You were funny. Oh, that was a fast and furious one. That's for sure. Okay. So what I think I'm going to do, because I need to, whoa, that purple came out and jumped at me. Oh, what was I thinking? I'm going to put a little bit of purple around his nose, a little bit of purple there. My little bit turned into too much, of course. But the thing is, I want to be able to also get in some pink so it looks like it's blushing. You know? So how am I going to make it look like it's blushing? It looks like the very, very center of the nose is that pink that we used in the, whoa, that's pretty, was the pink we used in the ears. So I'm putting a little bit here and a little bit here. Uh-oh, she's looking a little risque now. She's looking a little, I'm going to watch my language. Okay, there we go. Get that in there. Oh, I don't know about that. I don't know about that, you guys. But I do want it to look different from the top. I want to be able to tell the difference. Now they have a light bit there, but it looks like I have a dark bit, but somehow I have to make it look like, I think at the end, I'm gonna add some white right here to make the difference. I have to, you know? And, and so I keep looking at my picture well, at least I should look at it more. And I think a little bit of purple and blue should go by the mouth, you know, because that'll look real deep. 
problem is don't put it on if it's still wet. That's what I just did. So what am I doing here? I'm going up, going down. Oh, this could become a disaster if it's not dry. I might be the poster child for what not to do. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, very dangerous here. Dangerous territory, you guys. I'm getting some bleeding. Because what I did, oh, naughty, naughty, is I started painting the mouth before it was dry. So note to self, don't do that. I can always use white to fix it. You know, I'm just saying. Now I think the lip at the bottom looks a little bit purpley too. And then I got a little bit of shadow going on here too. So it's already Thursday tomorrow, you guys. This is crazy. The weeks go by so quickly. Oh, I'm just so shocked. All right. Oh, I can't wait to get into the flowers. I'm gonna put a little extra. I'm putting just a little extra on the, the dimple area, you know, like right where the mouth goes up because I thought that would be pretty. Ooh. Now, my lips are a little bit wide, but that's okay. You know it's not going to look like it perfectly. Well, that's what I'm telling myself. So that afterwards I can say, oh yeah, that's what it's supposed to look like. But of course it went too dark on its mouth. So I feel like I should spend some more time on its nostrils. How's yours looking? Better than mine, I hope. I think I've, I think I've gone a bit wild. Hmm. Ah, you know what's really cute? There's a little bit of a dark space right here in the middle. And I know I put too much there, but I'm going to go ahead and smooth it out. And then I can see just around the schnauzer, it's a little bit darker, just a little bit. Do you see how that works? So it looks like the nostrils are flaring. I got the nostrils going, but now what I have to do is get the, I'm going to get that real smooth. And you see how their nostrils are flaring, the white part? So I'm going to go in and see if I can't get that flarage. Because that's what I call it, flarage. Oh, did you know Don's not a member of the club anymore? What? No, he quit today. And he says he what? feels so free. Why? He just got, it just started to not be fun for him. He's very Oh, no. Is he, is he playing somewhere else? Or? No. He just decided to take a break for a little while. Okay. I know, I know. Sometimes you need a break. I know, and he's done this before, and he just was feeling like it just wasn't fun anymore. Oh, I well, know. I'll miss him, tell him. Okay, I'll tell him. And I know he'll go back, but he said, could you please put a freeze on my membership for a little while, you know? And it's a weird year. Got to take a break when you need a break. Of course. Yeah. Have you taken a break before? Um, I mean, just like last year, you know, at this well, time. Yeah, because of COVID. Yeah. 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 Oh, I don't know. He just gets a, I don't know. Now the nose is too pink, but it's adorable. So I don't know what to do. Uh, it looks like he's got like a, an, like a, a cold. <laughs> oh, shoot. But one and thing mine that does. Is such a disaster, you guys. Is it? Oh is my it, God. It's mine probably is so such bad. a disaster. It looks good. It's so I'll, bad. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. This is not looking anything like the picture, but I like it. And I think at the end, when we use our white and we splash, it's going to be adorable. I really think it'll turn out. Okay, guys? Let's all stick to it. 
Mine has lipstick on it. Oh, well, mine looks like it just ate a lollipop. So, uh, yeah, that's what's happening there. Mine just uh, did not wipe its mouth after eating. So, okay. It has bright pink lipstick on oh, it. Oh, right. I can't wait to see it. Oh, I can't wait. Okay, so now what we're going to do is I think we should go ahead and do the flowers. It looks okay. like he had a makeup. Yeah, like a crazy makeup time. Like yeah. somebody else who was blind put on his uh, makeup. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, I probably shouldn't say that. See, anything I think of. His is makeup crazy. is going crazy. Yes, that's it. That's it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the it dark. It started raining and his makeup went crazy. Is that what it is? Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, what I'm going to do is go ahead and use that other pink for the um, flowers. And I got it a little bit wet and I just went ahead and did a silly circle. I literally went there and did a circle, just like that. Circle. Because I know I can go in there later and do some more little bits to it, you know? Like I'm going to let that dry. And now I'm going to take the yellow, even though that, that they're not yellow, and I'm going to go ahead and do a yellow one. And by the way, you guys can make an orange one as well. Because what you do is you take the yellow, and then you can mix it with what color, everybody? Red. And you can make an orange one. See? So I'm taking my red to make one of my blossoms orange. And we'll see if it works. And if it doesn't, well, then I'll say, don't do it. Ooh, that's kind of pretty. So I went ahead and went in there and then, oh, orange blossom. You guys, see, you can make the colors anything you want. That's the beauty of it. This one's going to be interesting at the end. I feel like it's sort of interpretive, you know? We're just sort of going and doing whatever we feel like, which is interesting but I have tons of paint. So I hope you guys can do it again afterwards if you have paper. Come over and I'll give you some. Okay, so I'm gonna, now I gotta put the centers in. Don't forget, you don't have to get the centers wet, but I am putting them in looking, they look like little C's. They look like hearts. Do they look like little hearts? Like upside yeah. down. Yeah, they kinda do, don't they? So yeah, we can put in little hearts. This one right here can be a little heart. And then uh, what else am I gonna do? Um, to make the yellow one darker, what am I gonna do? Add a little bit. No, no. I guess I could just make the yellow part darker by putting in a little bit of the orange there for the center. There. That's kind of pretty. And then to make the actual orange darker, I guess I would just take some more of the red. I could actually take the other red too. See what happens. And the yellow. Mix these two together. Ooh, that's kind of pretty. All right, we'll see what happens when I put in the centers. Yeah, you could just dab, dab, dab a little bit. Mm -hmm. Okay, the best part will be the, the green. I can't wait for that. So I'm gonna go ahead and remember you always start lighter. So if you wanna put the light part down first, I'm doing the lime one first. My lines are showing a little bit too much. But so next time I'll remember to erase them a little more. I wonder if you can erase it after the fact. Have you guys ever tried to erase your lines afterwards? No? All right, so I'm going in. Oh, I once tried that and I had to start over again because the paint. It um, ruined it? Yeah, it ruined the paint and I actually got a hole in the paper. <gasps> oh, well, I almost got a hole in the paper. Really? Yeah, I was rubbing away like paper bits. And I'm like, oh shoot, I probably should do that. <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, this is good to know. So erasures, erasures should happen before. 
Good to know. Thank you for telling us. So, as long as you've got different greens, I don't think it really matters what green you use. The only thing I would tell you is that if it's under a leaf, make it a little darker because that's where the it'll look like it's got a, a little curve in it, you know? What's the word I want to use? Hey, Mike. I know you're only 17. But would you get me a glass of wine? No. Is that inappropriate? No. <laughs> I think he can work somewhere where they do that sort of stuff, right? He just, oh, you can't. I don't think he can open the bottle, though, if he worked at a restaurant. Anyway, would you pour me a glass? It's the kind that's in the... Um, in the box, because we are so fancy here at this house. It's boxed wine. I'm embarrassed. But it's nice because it's got like this little nozzle on it, and you could just have it up in the cupboard. Jacqueline. What just what just happened? What was that plane? Who? What oh sorry, that? sorry, it's my family. So no, it's okay. I want to hear them. What are they doing? It's my husband's son roughhousing. How old is he? Oh, I can't hear you. How old is he? My husband's son. How old is he? Terry, how old is he? Oh, I'm sorry. He is uh, 14 and he's coming to MC next year. No. Yes. Oh man, I'll miss him. Oh, Should you I will. But you'll be well, back, then you can, you'll meet him, you know, and he's a Spanish speaker, so. Oh, good. How is he a Spanish speaker? Just from, um, he's been taking oh. it since kindergarten. Oh, good. What school does he go now to now? He's at Mark Day. Oh, yeah, they got it. You know who they have there is, I think they have Mr. Creighton. Ooh, that's a good pour. Mm -hmm. Can you ask him if his teacher's Mr. Creighton? Senior no, he, Creighton. they've got Profe Caton, Tracy Caton, and uh -huh. then um, Kelly Giddings. Oh, I thought they had Creighton. Huh. I don't. Okay. Ask him if there's a Creighton there. Well, maybe he's Glenn? at a different school. Maybe he's at a different school. I don't know. That's he's in Kylie's room. Let me ask him when he comes out. Okay. You guys have a big family. I did not know you were, had such a big family. Caramba. Okay. Well, hmm. how is yours looking? Is it cray cray looking like mine? Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Well, this guy's teeth are going to be super duper white. I don't care. I'm going to put the white on them and I'm going to have them popping out. That's what I'm going to do. I'm just telling you guys that. Or, you know, it'd be even funnier if you made them green. You could have green teeth. No, that'd be stupid. Okay, what am I doing now? Well, I forgot one of my leaves. So I don't know if you guys are working on your leaves, but all I'm doing is throwing in the color. Because I think that we don't need them to be real detailed, you know? But maybe yours are. Mine's not detailed at all. Mm. It is fun, huh? I mean, when else would you sit down and paint this? Never, right? Right. <laughs> Was that Miriam? Did yeah, we that's why Karen? we love our Joan time. Did we, did we lose our Miriam? I mean, we lost our Karen. She took off. I, I said something. Oh, there she is. Where were yes. you? Weren't there a minute ago? I'm, I'm still here. <laughs> no, you were not there a minute ago. I've not moved. I've been here all the time. I've just been okay. busy concentrating. Bend down your head. Let's see. No, no. When you're painting, you were gone. Oh. There, you were gone. <laughs> you see? were gone. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I had my bent, my head bent down the whole time. Okay, okay. I thought so. I, I was like, well, where'd she go? You're like, I'm here. It's like the students. Are you there? Are you there? Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. Um, when I do the eyes, oh, are you guys ready for the eyes yet? 
I'm still working on the flowers. I'm sure yours are going to be awesome. I'm going to try and do the eye without getting it wet first. And I'm going to go in and I'm not going to even worry about the eyelashes. I'm just going to put in a round, excuse me, an oval eyeball. That's what I'm doing. And I'm going to add the eyelashes afterwards. What do you think about that? Is that cray cray or what? So say that again, Joan. You're just going to make the I'm, eyes black and then we're going to wipe them up after. Yes. I'm going to put them in dark. Okay. And then after the fact, I'm going to put in the white part. Okay. You see what I mean? Yeah. So I'm going in and I'm going to even do the eyelid lids and the eyelashes after. And I'm going to turn mine upside down because I can't get the right circle. It's an experiment. It may or may not work. See, I would have given up about 15 minutes ago, but because I'm with you guys, I'm sticking with it. Don't you dare throw it in the garbage, everybody. Never. Never. This is a progress. It's a, it's a thing in progress. Hmm. All right. Once I got that in, then I'm going to take my watered down brush and do some manipulation. See? And then I can go up to the top because look how it's sort of misty. See? I think it's like a little, it's special. So I'm, I hope it doesn't look dead. That's the only thing I don't want it to look like it's got a dead eye. Okay. So there we go. I'm getting the misty in. And then I'm going to go in on the other side and put in a dot and get the misty in. Whoa. Do you see how that worked, you guys? I went in and I put a drop there and then just removed part of it. Hmm. This may or may not work. This is going to be a fun video. This may or may not work. Hmm. Okay, well, sometimes, you know, you just got to persevere. Yeah, I do think that looks a little darker right there. It's almost like... Yeah, there. Oh, now she's looking cross-eyed. Come on, hippie. I'm going to call her. Hmm, I don't know. I want to call her something fun. Henrietta. Oops. Oh, that didn't work either. Fiona. Fiona. Oh, that's very British. I like that. That's a great name. Are you going to name yours Fiona? Well, I can't take your name. Probably not. Maybe <sighs> yet. Probably not. Okay. Now I'm going to do something where I'm going to go in and get my white ready, but it'll actually be gray. And I have a feeling I need to do a little bit of highlighter around the uh, eyebrows and then I have a, a higher eyebrow thing going on right here but it has to be dry so I can't really do that now so I'm going to work on the nostrils with a little bit of white hmm. all right come on Joan let's think of this think this through well I see a little bit of white down here And a little bit of white down below. Ooh, those eyes are going to look good in the end, you guys. I really think so. <laughs> okay. We might have to use our pen at the end, too, to do some detailing. You know, or our micron pen. 
Now I'm going to try and put in the eyelid because it kind of comes over, see? So I'm putting in the eyelid, a fake eyelid. There you go. There's one fake eyelid. She looks dreamy. Uh-huh. Yeah, I feel like a surgeon. We're, we're, we're going in and we're doing her eyes. Keep your strokes going a certain way, you know, like, and uh, I got to tell you, she's going to look, she's going to look hot. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, she looks much better once you put her eyelids on. Whew, that was tough. Are you guys on your eyes yet? Oh, it's silent. That worries me when you guys get quiet. All right. A dot there, a dot there. A little dot there. I think the dots are so important in their eyeballs, you know? We're going to have to get crazy and splash her up in a little while. But I'm going to go for my thinnest one. See if I can find a thin one. And I'm going to do her eyelashes. I'm going to go in and get some thick, thicker. And I'm going to try and put her eyelashes in. Why do I think I can do eyelashes when I can't even do my own? Oh my gosh, they're so cute. Are you guys doing your eyelashes? Okay. Yeah, mine was a little wet, so they kind of went together, and now my eyelashes are kind of thick. Well, maybe it'll look pretty thick. She'll look like a movie star. Does she look like a movie star? I think the eyelashes can have white too because that'll look real pretty. Oh, she's gorgeous. I'm always amazed at horses with their eyelashes, you know, just gorgeous. Giraffes. Well, I cannot wait to see everybody's. I have to tell you, I am extremely excited. Even if you don't think it turned out, we will all see something good in it. Don't forget they've got that little tiny uh, triangle like in the middle, like at the very, very base of the eyeball. So if you could make a little triangle there, that would look good too. Yeah. She's sweet. Penelope? That's a good name. And then getting awfully quiet. Are you guys still there? 
Okay. So. I think that there's a little bit of dark around the the, the mouth so that the teeth um, kind of have a little bit more definition. And then I'm taking my paintbrush and smoothing it out because I don't want it to look like, you know, they've got like spinach in their teeth or something. She, it, her. <laughs> Oof. Gorgeous. Okay. Um, I'm going to splash like crazy on her. But I think I don't want it on her face. So I'm going to take um, a paper towel or something. And I'm gonna I'm gonna cover up her face so that I don't ruin it. Okay. So here it is. I'm covering up her face just like like that. And then I'm gonna get some of this real wet stuff. Probably do blue. I like that blue. And then I'm gonna go ahead and get some on the outside. All right, and then I'm going to take some lighter green. I think that's pretty. And go like that. Ooh. I think we need some at the top, too. But I don't know. I'm going to get some blue going on here. Boy, it's hard to do it, especially. OK, so I covered her face, and I splashed her. She needs a little bit of splashing, maybe just a little bit at the top. Okay, so I'm going to take my water. My, my water's dirty enough that I could probably get some in. Well, maybe I went a little wild, but I always do. Ooh, holy smokes. How are you guys doing? Hello. So, um, today, today we actually found a duck in our backyard and it was just born. And so we have blue jays in our backyard and they have babies yeah. and they were like, um, swooping down at like the baby ducky and the duck ran under a barbecue. Uh -huh. and so... We got the ducky in like a little box. Uh huh. And so then we kept the duckling in a box and we dropped Kira off at her softball game. Mm -hmm. And then um, he actually fell asleep on oh. me and my mom. Oh. And it was so cute, and you could like fit in your hands. He was like a newborn. Well, and, what? Where was his mom? Uh, he was actually lost. So we actually took a walk around the neighborhood, looked for his mom. We couldn't find his mom, but well, it's funny is we were talking about his mom, and then like we heard his little chirping outside, and saw the blue jays, and we got him. But we were like just talking about him. And did you find the mom? No, we didn't. So um, we actually took him to a wildlife care. Oh, good. The one in San Rafael? Yeah, I oh, think. Good. good. Yeah. And yeah, it was that one. Yeah. And so there was also another guy there. And he had baby deer mice. And he just found them on like, the side of the road. And they were like one inch they were so tiny and cute and so we dropped the baby chickie off and yeah, i bet it was we got hard to, to say pet the little baby mice good deer mice and yeah do you know i've never heard of deer mice before what, what yeah me either 
Yeah, and they sound like they're really tiny. Wow, that sounds cool. Yeah, he You're found lucky. babies that were like one inch and there was two. I inch. wonder what happened to the, the mama duck, you know? Yeah, we saw her walking. We tried to find her. And yeah, when we dropped the baby yeah. off, he said like, oh yeah, this baby might have been hatched like a week ago. Wow. He was tiny. He could like fit in one of my hands. So you saved his life. Mm-hmm. Oh, that must have felt so good. And like most of him was just feathers. It was so cute. He was so fuzzy and soft. Did you take, did you take any pictures? Oh, yeah. We took tons of pictures. Oh, good. Oh, I'm so glad. Yeah. Terrific. Well, I'm using my white right now to make it a little lighter because remember, I got a little too dark. So if you want to take your white and put it over, it would really make it look pretty. And I hope that you can share with me the picture later, okay? Okay. If you could find it or have your mom send it to me, because I, I want to see what a deer mouse looks like. Oh, we didn't take any pictures of the deer mouse. But oh, okay. But of the duck. We took tons of pictures of the little ducky. Oh, good. I'm so glad. Hey, you guys, are you guys ready for a show and tell? Terry doesn't look too happy. She's like, I'm oh. miserable. Oh, I'm so sad. No, it's okay. I'm going to do it again. It was my instruction. It was my no, instruction. No, 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 no. I'm going to do it again. Mm. No, it was, uh, <laughs> it's, it's, the, it's the giraffe of the hippo. <laughs> And when you see it, you'll be like, oh, I get it. Okay. No, no, no. It'll, it'll look good. Okay. 